In 1917, the First World War is in its fourth year. Millions lie dead across the battlefields of Europe. The Nationalist 16th Irish Division and the Unionist 36th Ulster Division are put side by side to fight together in the coming offensive in Flanders. This is the area where the 36th Division were attacking onto the top of the ridgeline to try and gain that critical terrain. If you have possession of it, it gives you a decided advantage and that's why, that's why it had to be taken. Tomorrow, we may not change history, but we'll certainly change the geography. Interesting, William Edmund revived partly because of the symbolism of him being a Southern Irish Catholic fighting in an Irish division, being picked up by a stretcher bearer from a Protestant Unionist Ulster division. Francis Ledwidge is buried here in Artillery Road Cemetery, about 200 metres from where he fell on the 31st of July. The ground under our feet probably contains the bodies of Irishmen who were never found. Yeah, well, you can be absolutely sure about that. As an average, we find 10 to 20 bodies a year. It doesn't need much imag imagination to know if you find a body here, it's very likely an Irishman. Nothing conveys the horrors of the Battle of Passchendaele more than this place. This is Tynecott Cemetery. But his death was not the end of the Father Doyle story. Willie Doyle is, is a bridge. During the war, he was a bridge between Catholics and Protestants. My poor brave boys, they are lying now out on the battlefield, some in a little grave dug and blessed by their chaplain, while perhaps in some far off thatched cabin, an anxious mother sits listening for the well-known step and voice which will never gladden her heart again.